When you are trying to find another word for transportation, it can be tough to know where to start. There are so many ways to get from one place to another, and new words are constantly being created. In this video, we will explore some of the most common synonyms for transportation. Let's get started. What is the meaning of transportation? The word transportation is defined as the act of moving something from one place to another. It can be done by a variety of means, including walking, driving, flying, or taking a train. When you are transported from one place to another, you typically move yourself and your belongings from one location to point B. According to the National Transportation Programs, there are four main types of transportation, passenger, freight, public vehicles, and private. Passenger transportation includes modes such as cars, buses, trains, planes, and boats that carry people from one place to another. Freight transportation refers to the movement of goods and materials by truck, rail, ship, or plane. Public transit includes modes such as buses and trains available for use by the general public. Private transportation includes modes such as cars and bicycles used for personal travel. The United States Federal Department of Transportation oversees all transportation in the country, including the construction and maintenance of highways, bridges, railways, airports, and seaports. The Department of Transportation is also responsible for safety regulations and enforcing laws related to this field. Transport systems are in place in every country and vary depending on the size and population of the nation. The history of this field is fascinating, and it's amazing to see how far we have come. From early forms of transport like canoes and horse-drawn carts to modern-day high-speed trains and self-driving cars, there is no doubt that we have come a long way. Today, there are cars, trains, buses, planes, boats, and more. With so many choices, it can be testing to choose which mode of vehicle is best for you. There are also different ways to get around, and the number of options continues to grow. Who knows what the future will bring? If you want to learn more about how transportation has evolved over the years, check out our previous video. What does transportation consist of? There are different types of transportation, each with its benefits and drawbacks. Here are some of the most popular methods. Driving, this is a faster way to get around, and you can cover a greater distance in the same amount of time as walking. However, it requires a vehicle and gasoline and can be dangerous if you do not follow the road and traffic rules. Walking, this is the slowest form of transportation but is free and does not require any equipment. It is also a great way to get some exercise. Flying, this is the fastest way to travel, but it is also the most expensive. It can also be stressful, as you have to deal with security lines and crowded airports. Taking a train, this is an excellent middle ground between walking and flying. It is usually cheaper than flying but faster than walking. However, finding a train that goes to your destination can be difficult, and the schedules can be inflexible. Passengers also have to deal with security screenings. What is a synonym for transportation? Transportation synonyms can be used interchangeably in most situations and can help to add variety to your riding. The transportation system, public transportation, means of transportation and mode of transportation are all words that have the same definition. There are also some related words, such as transportation infrastructure and network, that can be used in place of transportation. Nearby words include transfer and transport, which have similar but not identical contexts. If you are looking for related words for transport, consider using one of these synonyms. Related words have slightly different contexts, so be sure to choose the one that best fits your needs. In most cases, these can be used and vice versa. Having similar words in your vocabulary can help you to better understand the different types. When you are reading about transport, these words will be familiar and you will be able to understand the text better. Transportation noun gives us ideas about the system, while transport verb helps us to understand the act of moving something from one place to another. Some examples include travel, conveyance, mobility, shipment, commute, journey, passage, trip, conveyance, locomotion. What are the transportation options that are suitable for the environment? There are many options available that are friendly to the environment. These include walking, biking, taking public vehicles, and carpooling. Every option has its own advantages and downsides, so be sure to choose the one that best fits your needs. Biking is a faster way to get around, and you can cover a greater distance in the same amount of time as walking. However, it requires a bike and helmet and can be dangerous if you do not follow the rules on the road. Taking public transit is an excellent middle ground between walking and biking. It is usually cheaper than taking a taxi or Uber but faster than walking. However, finding a bus or train that goes to your destination can be challenging, and the schedules can be inflexible. Carpooling is a perfect way to save money and reduce your carbon footprint. However, it can't be easy to find someone who is going to the same place as you at the same time. It also requires some planning and coordination. 
Moving goods has always been an important part of human civilization. Today, the tracking of goods is essential in business. If you're looking for something that will help you track all of your shipments at all times, we have the perfect solution for you. Affiliate Disclaimer Freight Chain is supported by our viewers. When you purchase through links on our site, we may earn an affiliate commission that helps keep our website and its content. Thank you. Learn more. Keep Truckin makes it so easy to schedule and track your delivery. You can even get an inspection report on the app. With these features, you won't have any stress or wasted time. Check out Keep Truckin today. If you would like to learn more about shipping goods, check out our previous video. What transportation options are bad for the environment? There are a few vehicle options that are bad for the environment. These include driving alone in a car, taking a taxi or Uber, and flying in an airplane. Each option has a high carbon footprint and can contribute to air pollution and climate change. A carbon footprint is a measure of the amount of carbon dioxide that is emitted into the atmosphere. It is often used to compare the environmental impact of different activities. For example, driving a car for one mile emits about 0.93 pounds of carbon dioxide. This number can vary depending on the type of car you drive and how fuel efficient it is. Technology is continuously improving, and there are now many options for low-emitting vehicles. Commercial enterprise transportation, such as FedEx or UPS, also emits a large amount of carbon dioxide. In fact, the transport sector is responsible for about 28% of all greenhouse gas emissions in the United States. An official decree was recently passed that all commercial vehicles must be replaced or retrofitted with low-emission engines by 2027 to reduce these emissions significantly. What's the most efficient type of transportation? Ultimately, the most efficient type of vehicle depends on your individual circumstances. Consider the distance you're traveling, the cost, the environmental impact, and your personal preferences to choose the best option for you. Short journeys are usually best undertaken by car or bike. Cars are the most convenient option, but bikes are much better for the environment. If you're traveling with others, carpooling is a great way to save money and reduce your carbon footprint. Cars are the most popular form of transportation in many countries. They are convenient and can be used for both long and short distances. Buses are another popular option, especially for longer journeys. But when it comes to choosing the most efficient type, it depends on the situation. To learn more about other transportation services available today, check out our previous video. Final thoughts. So there you have it, a comprehensive list of words that can be used in place of transportation. It turns out there are quite a few words that mean the same. While this list may not be exhaustive, it should give you a good starting point for finding the right word to describe your product or service. And as always, thanks for watching. We hope this article was helpful and that you'll check back soon for more content. Disclaimer, Freight Chain provides educational content only. It should not be taken as professional advice. You should always consult a freight shipping expert before making any decisions.